Today, we're going to tame our first Shadow Main. I've already got all of the fish baskets that we should theoretically need to be able to tame up a pretty high level shadow, shadow main, providing we, oh my God, providing we can actually find one. Holy Jesus. My God, I've been standing here and just hanging out at this pond forever. This, there was no Sarko here, I swear to God. Oh my God. All right, well, is there, is there more Sarko in here? Uh, but I scouted out a couple different locations for catching fish, so that way we can tame up these shadow main and while this is way outside of the uh, Rockwell zone, we I already scouted the location for the Shadow Main. And I believe there's a 130 spawn there as long as nobody else uh, captures it. And um, I mean, 130 is pretty good. I definitely wanted higher than a 130, but I will take that if I can. Uh, obviously, we want to get something around like 150 if possible. But... That means we gotta catch some fishes. I was really hoping there'd be some piranha in here, but let's put that fish basket. Excuse me, a fish basket? Place you fool. Are you not gonna place? You motherless goat, there we go. Oh, 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 there's the piranha. Speak of the devil. Come here, you dirty little fish. Boom. All right, so we've got one piranha. We're gonna need quite a few more. Uh, thankfully, the piranha are probably the easiest to catch since they aggro you. You can place your fish basket and kind of, like, hang out around it. And then once it's ready to queue up, you can trap your piranha. Boom! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, you can also use saber tooth salmon and uh, see the canth for this. But I think we're just going to go with piranha because it's easier. Nothing more frustrating than a giant fish being right next to the basket and not being able to pick it up because it's like a centimeter too far away. Oh, it swam right past this one. Oh, come on. Come on, you dirty little fish. Oh, I'm... Oh, why am I so dumb? All right, we were able to acquire a few. So we got a couple piranha and a couple coelacanth. Now, we've only got 34 minutes left on those, on, on our lowest one. Now, we'll be able to tame more fish out in the Rockwell zone, but um, at least we've got some to start it off, because sometimes it's a pain to find them in the Rockwell zone, so hopefully we can get lucky. I've definitely got extra fish baskets on me, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And now we just got to head over to the location uh, where they should be spawning. Hopefully, it's still there. And actually, I also want to see what is spawning outside of here right now. Because if it's element, I didn't look at what color our drops were. But Okay, so element is not spawning right now. I basically, if we get a day where there's element spawning out there, then we are going to try and tame some Astrodelphus soon. Hopefully, if it's fixed. I know it was broken there for a little bit, so once the Astrodelphus spawns are... Or, uh, Taming is fixed. Then we're definitely going to get some of these. Man, I love these little flying platypuses. They make me so happy. Oh, so happy. Sweet baby Jesus. All right. So let me see if I can remember exactly where we're going. I believe we're going in between 40 and 60 down near the end of this little central alleyway. Going straight across. And if memory serves, it's pretty much sitting right next to the river. It's daytime, which means it should be sleeping right now. For those of you that don't know, when you go to tame these shadow mains, you definitely want it to be daytime because they need to be asleep for you to feed them their tasty little treats. Hmm, we got a drop right here. I don't know if it's going to be safe to get it. I did bring my... one of my good bred up tames with us today. So I've got one of our Arthylokaleo that we've been breeding. I got this one at 100% imprinting. So if we do run into trouble, that is what we're going to use. Oh, oh God. A, man, that mantis is straight killing it. Oh my God, an Ascendant Thylokaleo saddle. Sweet baby Jesus. All right. Um, let's plop this out. Oh my God, I've been wanting one of these saddles for freaking ever. Let's go, baby. Turn around. How dare you even touch my Maywing. And this Thyla is a beast. You know what? We should probably just use the Thyla for right now. Because it's not like we need to travel very quickly. 
I would much rather travel safely than quickly at this point in time. Excuse me? Are you serious? These stupid little bugs. Gotta be kidding me. But yeah, I do hope everybody enjoys today's video. If you do, <gasps> look at the bulb dog. Don't smack the like button. Hit the, like, look at the bulb dog. Don't hit the bulb dog. Look at its beautiful little face. Hi, buddy. What level are you? Level 135. Oh, my God. You might have to come back for you, you beautiful little creature. Uh, but yeah, we are playing on the members server today. So all the members and patrons are able to play along with us. We'll probably try and creep on one of our members bases today. Look at that turtle. Okay. So this is the area where I saw a couple different shadow mains. Now the question is, has it gotten to a fight and moved? It probably has, but we'll find it. Ooh, we've got two right there. Let's see what levels they are. They're both still sleeping. Hello, lag. We've got a 95 and, ah, 135. There we go. All right, so 135's pretty good. Unfortunately, it is right next to that other one, so... Unless we're going to try and tame both at the same time, which we could. They are facing the right direction. It just seems like that would be a really, really bad idea. Now, we got a Dillo right there. What I want to do is I think I'm going to equip all of my ghillie equipment except for the chest piece. So that way I can fly away if needed. Plus, we've got decent armor on all of this. And uh, hopefully it'll make us just a little bit sneakier. Hmm. This outfit definitely doesn't go away, <laughs> go together well. I'm sorry for the uh, the butt crack showing here. I'm hoping what I can do is maybe aggro this Dillo without waking it up. Oh god, I'm hungry. And I do have our most what what word am I trying? Most expi. Oh 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 oh. Just gonna. Slowly back up. I don't know why they woke up. Don't look at me. Don't do it. Just stay. Just stay right there. Nothing to see here, kitty cat. Nothing to see. How about you kill that Dillo? Are you protecting it? What is going on here? This is some kind of conspiracy. They're on the move. Oh my god. Are they? Ooh, there's another shadow man right over there. What level is that one back there? We got. I can't see it. Man, it's nice that they're in groups, but it's also like, oh my god, why do you have to be in groups? Right, that's the one I think we want right there. But that's the 135 male. Come on, go to sleep, little buddy. Go to sleep, little baby. I've got fish. I've got your favorite treat. Trying to do a little sneak over to that other one. I saw it walk down this way. I could have swore it was around here somewhere. It's not nighttime, so it shouldn't be invisible. But where is it? The sneakiest shadow main that has ever existed. It's probably a low level and I'm just wasting my time looking for it, but you never know, right? Those other ones won't go back to sleep for some reason. Really, they went to sleep like inside of each other. What horrible luck. I'm hoping that I can kind of just fall at the right spot and do a little bit of a sneak. Oh god, that hurt. Alright, we're in the water. We can turn off our helmet now. I just want the 135, which is the lit up one. The piranha in the last slot. Just hopefully we feed the right one. Need a fish basket. Sweet. Now that shadow main disappears and we'll have to use our tame tracker to actually figure out where it's gone. We don't want to go in front of the other shadow main because that'll wake it up. So we're going to actually back up. God, I love the fog coming off the water. On this map, it looks so good. We're just going to go all the way around. 
I don't want to risk waking up that other one. The taming these is actually pretty interesting. So let's go up here. God, my butt crack is still showing. Taming list. So we're at 52% with that. That's nice. Gotta love slightly increased uh, taming modifiers, especially with all like the bonuses and stuff that you get. So that shadow mana shows it right there. Is it? Is it asleep again? Oh, 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 oh! It did. Oh, now it's back awake. And that thing barely even moved. So we just need to feed it one more piranha. We might be able to get two tamed and start doing some breeding today. That'd be super exciting. Uh, 0.9. Let's do the 1.1, I guess. Do we have anything bigger? No, we just have 1.1. Let's use that one. Come on, go to sleep, little baby. So I realized I never really fully showed... Oh my god, I just took so much fall damage. Oh my... I forgot I didn't have my... Stupid tech feet equipped. So we're at about uh, 43, uh, 15. And this whole area just has so, so many Shadow Main in it. Um, so if you're looking to tame your own and want to quickly know where they are so that way you can get fish in a safe zone and then come here with all of your fish, uh, well, this is it. It's, uh, it's, there's just, there's always Shadow Main on this bank over here. Uh, I've seen them on this bank and then across this right here on the other side of this there's usually a group over there as well so you'll be able to find shadow main all over the place i'm hoping that ours reset again man this taming reset thing on these is so frustrating sometimes they just don't go to sleep and then it just keeps resetting it is the worst just really 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 need this thing to lie back down and go to sleep oh my god it finally went back to sleep it's a christmas miracle so if this resets again, there's a solid chance that our fish are going to spoil before we can actually get it tamed up. Because our fish are already... Oh, it pooped while it's asleep. That's so unfortunate. Let's see what we get on this one. Alright, 54%. As long as it doesn't reset again, we're good. Oh, here we go. Oh, it actually went to sleep right away. I think it only breaks when there's like two around, so we're looking, still looking pretty good. We got another 1.1. This should get us everything we need. Just need nothing to mess up for like 30 seconds. And we'll have tamed our first shadow man. Oh my god, it woke back up. Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> that was almost a disaster. It's interesting. They very clearly like do the going to sleep animation and then get stuck and can't lay down. So they do like this little wiggle like they're trying to do the falling asleep animation and then they can't. So they just keep walking around and then the taming thing resets. I don't think it's reset yet. So, come on, just lay down. Stop being broken. It's gonna happen. It's finally time. Nothing has broken. It's gotta feed it. Boom, baby! Our first Shadow Man. And you know what? Y'all get to tame it. So if you wanna name our new Shadow Man, feel free to leave some names in the comments below, and I will most certainly pick one. We gotta get rid of this uh, tame tracker so we can actually read things. So we got 4,950 health. 1,755 stamina, 278.5% melee damage, and 100% movement speed. We also got Ramshackle uh, armor on it, which is pretty cool. Because we've got uh, Shadow Man natural armor. We can get higher level armors on these wild ones as well. So that's something that we can breed for too. So we got to see if we can find another high level one, maybe with a higher armor stat on it too. And, uh, and see how it goes. But man... I absolutely love these, because if we can get one bred and imprinted, mm, baby, that's going to be exciting. I don't think it's uh, armor levels up with its level. I know you leveled up. Come on. Oh my God. 12 levels? What in Sam hell did I just kill? All right. Uh, let's boost some health in here. Yeah, the armor's not going up with it. And let's boost some melee damage. Sweet baby Jesus. All right. I believe there are there's another group of shadow main on the other side of this. So I'm gonna put this guy in a soul orb. And then uh, see if we can find another one. 
Actually, I'm just going to take it back to base and be safe. What time is it? 1700. We got a little bit of time before nighttime. We might be able to get another one tamed. Oh my god. Right there is a male 150 shadow mane. Unfortunately, we need a female to breed with. But a male 150? How, how's my fish looking? Oh man, my fish are... I've got a minute and 40 there. Four minutes there. Five. We can do this if it goes to sleep perfectly. I mean, obviously we can get more fish, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> Come on, go to sleep, please. I mean, we can always tame it tomorrow after the night ends. We could just kind of hang out here. This is a pretty safe spot. Come on, go to sleep. It, it keeps trying to. It just can't. Man, they are some hideous creatures, though. They're both beautiful and hideous all at the same time. You know, the scary thing is, usually Shadow Mane are in groups. And I've only seen one, which means there's probably another one. Unfortunately, oh my god, it's 1900. Okay. Um, <laughs> we've only got two fish left. And they aren't piranhas. So we'll see what the taming effectiveness on the coelacanth are. There's a pretty big coelacanth. We get 64.8%. Alright. And I have I have one coelacanth left. And it is a 1.1. So as long as this goes to sleep really quick, we'll get the 150 tonight. Oh my god, it fell asleep right in front of me. With its face pointing at me, which was slightly terrifying. Oh, please don't have another Shadow Man around here. I don't know what time they wake up. I think it's... I have no idea. Just need to not worry about it. I cannot believe the luck that we have had today. We just need to find a female. I'm going to be fine with pretty much whatever female we can get at this point. Um, I would like to maybe, like, around, like, a level 100 if we can find it. But getting a 135 and a 150 male right off the bat in one day, pretty good luck. Oh, my God. This fish is about to expire. We gotta go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, my God. Got, like, a couple seconds left. Oh, my God. All right, we need two Shadow Main names, ladies and gentlemen. All right, what's the armor on this one? Is it going to be better than the last one? Let's see. Okay, we still got the same ramshackle armor on this one. But stats are definitely better. 6,270 health, 372.6% melee damage, and 1,890 stamina. Sweet. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Alright, we gotta get these back to base. It's almost nighttime, and I do not want to be in this zone at night. I just had a brilliant idea. Who needs to tame a female... When we can hopefully breed our 150 tamed male with one of the members, females that they've tamed. And that way we can both benefit with some high level babies. Oh yeah, it's on like Donkey Kong. So Cotton's got a 145 Shadow Mane female. So let's grab our 224 male. And we got to head over to coordinate 6573. Small base area. Ooh, got Astrodelphus already. We got quite the setup going on here. It's got some Brontos up in there. <clears throat> There's some Shadow Mane on the roof. Look at that big old floaty boy. That's what I would like to tame if we can ever get a good uh, taming night. Let's see. So I'm going to plop. Oh, look at all the little Shadow Mane babies here. Sweet baby Jesus. Look at them all. They're beautiful. All right. So I'm assuming this is Big Mama here. Level 268, Turtle King is the tribe name. All right, so let me plop this bad boy out. Whoops. Nearby enemy base. Oh, hold on. Let me plop it out over here. Or not. Now we're cooking. Man, that one's beautiful too. So let's enable breeding on here. Options. Wait, behavior. Enable mating. And here we go. Brown chicken, brown cow time. I cannot wait. Hopefully we can get one fully imprinted. They really don't seem very excited about this. You'd think they'd be a little bit happier making babies. But no. Maybe it's because I'm staring deep into their souls. Look how beautiful that looks with the sunrise and the fog over the mountains. 
I, I really love what they've done with this map. But we got about four more minutes on the gestation on the shadow main here, and we should have our baby pop out. I haven't seen what kind of new drops. Are they blue again? I can't tell if that's drops or those towers out there. And we need purple drops, because if purple drops are there, that means Element's going to be outside the ship. And then we can tame those Astro Delphus, but I don't see any drops yet. I love the fog around the mountains, though. It's so pretty. Almost as pretty as our Shadow Main baby is going to be. Oh, here it is. Level 220. Pretty good. Now, let's see what stats we got transferred over here. So, we got 7,095 health, stamina 1890. We didn't get the high melee damage from the dad. I think the the dad has a 372.6. Uh, so, we definitely need to get better stuff on that. We do get a cuddle here, though. 2%. Oh, my God. Another cuddle? And it wants to go on a walk. Of course, it does. This is going to be... This is going to be quite the journey. But I do want to see how good they're going to be once we actually get some uh, full imprinting on here. Although this one really isn't going to be nearly as good without having those high stats from the dad. Although we did get higher health here on the baby. So what we could do is take this baby and then breed it back to the dad. And hopefully we'll get the high health and the high melee damage. Which would give us a pretty good shadow main. Well, I did a big dumb. I put the baby on the Maywing, but I forgot to turn the nipples on. So the baby starved to death. Yep. Big, big dumb mistake. But hopefully Cotton is still at their base and we'll be able to make another one. So I was told or asked to see the magic of dolphin loving. Which is interesting. We got 30 seconds on this baby's ego being prego. This is ridiculous. S space dolphin babies. I don't know. I'm gonna catch it. Is it gonna launch out? What's going on here? Come on. I bet it's gonna be a mutation because I'm looking at it. Whoop. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh my god. Is it where? Something was inside of me. Was it the thing? It's just gone. I guess that is magic. Oh, it's so cute. It was stuck inside of the other dolphin. It's beautiful. Look at this little face. It's adorable. Oh my god. God, it's beautiful too with the green, the red, and the blue. It looks so good. Is that a mutation on it? It looks bluer than the parents. Oh, it's adorable. Well, at least this time the baby has the melee damage on it, which is pretty nice. Then we just got to transfer a good level of health onto it. Sweet. So after imprinting, I did put one level into the health. We ended up with uh, just over 10,000 HP, 591.5% uh, melee damage, 160% movement speed, and 1,890 uh, stamina. I guess isn't too important. You do get quite a bit of health per level, though. So, I mean, we gotta we gotta give her a little bit of a test run, don't we? I mean, we could make more babies, but we gotta see how strong she is before we start pumping more damage into there. So right now, 212 damage per hit. Not bad. Ooh, what level is this Maywing? Hello? What level are you? If it's high level, I could tame it. If it's not, we're going to... Okay, it's level 130. That's not bad. All right, so let's poost. Poost. <laughs> let's poost. Sweet baby Jesus. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. Huh. Apparently, I was saved by somebody. An anonymous savior. Alpha Raptor was attacking your stuff. Bill Gates, man. Never. Destroy me after you read. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who saved us? It was... Oh, Cotton. Perfect. Isn't that nice? I want to see what the damage increase per level is going to be. So, we're at 400... Oh, that thing exploded. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I want to use my super attack, too. So, last horse got hit for 424. And let's boost one level into here. And see how much damage it does now. 
322. 433. So a, about 10, well, 9 per level, which isn't bad. Let's see what the super attack does to one. I missed. Right now, we're at about 1,000 melee damage on here. Uh, well, we are. 1,005.6. So we're doing 614 is our highest damage hit right now. Just pretty darn good. I think it's a little bit stronger on average than our Thyla. And our Thyla was already pretty good. However, what I want to see is how much damage our ultimate attack gets. So when you get filled up with purple, you can hold the left mouse button and do a mega attack, which does 2,287 damage. That's pretty nice. Now, I guess we should also test out what our how much damage our right click will do. Uh, so 100 damage, and then obviously electrifies and stuns, which is pretty nice. So yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with the results. We tamed a couple of Shadow Main. We got a baby. Uh, it's definitely not max level yet, so it's only going to get stronger from here. I'm probably going to pump the rest into just melee damage. I could probably get it to 20k health, but also... We got to actually go for some Shadow Main mutations. Uh, but we're not going to do that in this video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. We're going to be working on the base and getting some Shadow Main mutations. Probably in a live stream or video coming very soon. So feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.